or the same manner of people as Isaac. Are you Isaac? still Hebrews? You are not. You are a damn not Edomite. Israelite. That's what you mean. You're not no, no, no. Right? Israelites only come from Jacob. Right. So he wouldn't be Israelite, period. No, he right, can't be. Right. But I, Jacob's I, his brother. I, I, con I contend that the man isn't even a Hebrew. Hebrew. He's another he's manner, manner of people. people. But he came from his father's vows. What right? did the Bible say? Two manner of, of two people. nations are in thy womb. nations. He didn't say whether or not he was white a Hebrew people or black people. Now read on. Right? Jake. Two nations, two manner of people, people. shall be separated. He's a, he's a whole from that other manner of people. So I, I contend that he's not a Hebrew. Like a, it's like a caveman okay. and a and a homo. All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother Atazawam here, back in the spirit with another lesson. Lord willing, I pray and hope it is edifying. Uh, before I get started, of course, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and peace and salutation to the elect. All right. Now, are the Edomites Hebrews? Okay. Now, the answer to that question is yes, they are Hebrews. Now, before I um, scrutinize what the, uh, this individual said uh, from the Sons of Thunders uh, Israelites here, um, this video is not to, you know, uh, uh, speak on Edomites being saved because Edomites can't be saved okay but it's just for rightly dividing the word of truth like it tells you on the scriptures it says study to show thyself approved rightly dividing the word of truth now the individual he said what he said that he would contend that Edomites are not Hebrews and that's wrong okay they are Hebrews because a Hebrew is a descendant from Eber all right which Eber was one of the forefathers of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. And if you are a nation that comes out of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then in fact, you are a Hebrew. All right. Now, the Lord didn't choose Hebrews. Okay. Uh, being a Hebrew is not a nation. All right. But being a, 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 a Israelite, a Hebrew Israelite is a nation. A Hebrew Edomite is a nation. A Hebrew um, Ishmaelite is a nation but there is just no nation that's a he that's just hebrew okay so he used genesis the 25th chapter to um to uh confirm his stance and say that uh in rebecca's womb the lord uh created two nations and he and gave them two manners two different mannerisms all right but the, the nations that the lord separated were israelites from edomites not hebrews okay now what i have here is um this is um, the um, blue letter definition for the word Hebrew. All right. And uh, that word there is Ibar or Ibarya. And it, it, you know, simply means one from beyond or, or from the past. OK, that's what it means. All right. Now it says um, I'm going to go down to a point that I wanted to get. All right. Now it says right there where you see Strong's definition. All right. Now it says Patriot. Patri patronymic uh, from H5677 and Eberite or descendant of Eber. Okay, so that's that's who uh, who the Hebrew Hebrews are descendants of Eber. Okay, anyone that's a descendant of Eber is a Hebrew, in fact. All right, but does that mean that they're granted they're going to be granted salvation? Absolutely not, because the scriptures say out of the, out of uh, Isaac shall thou see be called. And who was that seed that, that was called out of Isaac? It was Jacob. So, in fact, the Edomites are Hebrews, but are they the chosen of the Heavenly Father? Absolutely not, man. Okay? Now, let's get Philippians chapter 3 in uh, verse uh, 4. It says, Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath, whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin and Hebrew of the Hebrews. So Paul is clearly making a, a, a distinction uh, between Hebrews here because he said he's a Hebrew of the Hebrews, showing you that there, there are different types of Hebrews and Edomites are, in fact, Hebrews. OK, so these are the things that have to be corrected when you out teaching, man. And, you know, this is nothing personal. We have nothing personal against the uh, the sons of thunders Israelites. We actually 
that the the speaker uh he used to come down and listen to the Atlanta camp before he uh you know joined the, in any camp or or, or any um Israelite gathering he used to come and listen to us back when Yara Don was in the camp so we know we we've seen him on several occasions come down to our camp taking notes listening adding okay so it's nothing personal but at the same time that's a wrong statement and you know you got to rightly divide the word of truth because you can lead people astray okay so that this this lesson wasn't intended to be long I just wanted to touch on that real quick just to show that the uh the, the the edomites are in fact hebrews because their their brother is jacob he's a hebrew their father is a hebrew and his grandfather abraham is a hebrew is a hebrew okay so how is it that his grandfather his father and his brother are hebrews but he's not okay nowhere in the scriptures does it say that that he's not a hebrew okay so you got to rightly divide the word of truth. You can't just be out there speaking out your own belly, man. All right. You got to be speaking uh, uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and you got to be right. OK, that's why the apostles and elders say that Great Millstone has 100 percent truth, because, you know, these these things like that, you know, uh, can twist up the whole uh, a whole understanding. One little thing can twist up the uh, a whole understanding, man. OK. So like I said, I just wanted intended for that to be quick. It was something that I caught, uh, felt the urge to uh, to uh, re respond to it, and um, you know, and, and bring it out. You know, as a matter of fact, let me get one more uh, precept going into uh, Hebrews. I pull it up. I said precepts. So like I'm gonna pull it up on the etymology. All right. It says. Um, Late old English from old French Hebrew. All right. And if you go down, it says what? Traditionally from an ancestral name, Eber. Okay. That's what it means. It, it, being of the ancestry of Eber. Okay. That's what a Hebrew is. The, the, just because you're a Hebrew, are you an Israelite? No. Just because you're a Hebrew, are you an Edomite? No. There are different types of Hebrews. All right. Because remember, the scriptures say what? Abraham will be a father of many nations. That's why in his name is what? It's Abraham. Um, in the Hebrew, is it's pronounced Abraham, which means what? It means um, father of a multitude. Okay? So he, there, were, there were many nations that came out of Abraham, but there was only one nation that was called out of, out of Abraham's seed. And that was, that was Jacob. So the Hebrew Israelites are the are the seed of the elect, the chosen. But you do have Hebrew Edomites and Hebrew Ishmaelites. OK, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, I was shy by Shem Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and safety to the elect. Shalom.